see what's going on. I can't wait to get this game started. It has been quite an intense morning getting ready for this. I mean, the players are ready. I'm ready. My staff is ready. The clutch staff is so excited. We are so glad to be able to host this. So now, there it is. We are finally in game, folks, and we are going to be able to go ahead and see these bands coming out. Just so you guys know, um, we do have one second. I do have some bleed back coming in through the stream. We fixed it now. And so just so you know, for CNM, it looks like we're going to have Presley feel fat from, <laughs> from fat to six pack, uh, Litchy, and we're going to say hello because that name is just a little bit difficult to pronounce. I'm, I'm a little bit low on my Mandarin skills. So please ex apologize for that. And so for the Murder Bros Inc, we're gonna have Light, Wonton, Caillou, Sisu, uh, Skull, and Shredder. So it should be interesting. First time I get to see these guys play. I know the MBI are returning champions here at, so I've been told at Clutch Gaming Arena. So let's see what the first band's gonna be as we do have, like I said, the Ember Spirit our band coming out. Very, very common band. We do see him band a lot. He has a lot of mobility and he, he is able to be pretty much magic immune. I mean, the damage still goes through. It, he's just very deadly hero. You don't want, he's very dominant in middle. Very annoying, you don't want to play with him. So we'll see what the dire team, CNM, is going to be able to ban here uh, in response to the Ember Spirit. So we're really not going to see too much uh, as far as how the teams are going to develop on the first few, two bands. And as we see the picks drop down, we will be able to make a better call as far as who is going where and why. So we do have the Nature's Profit ban, so we're shutting down early ganks real quick. Uh, CNM says we don't want to go ahead and deal with this guy teleporting around. He could be a strong pusher. He could be he could hold top like it's nobody's business and still farm the jungle at the same time. So we're we do see that ban as well. So now we are on the second band for this Murder Bros Inc. And we do have Visage getting banned. Very, very useful support. He has the he also is a split pusher, so we will see him use his minions. Uh, yeah, I can. Give me one second. Auto hide the text bar. There we go. Star bar is gone. All right. So still working out some technical difficulties, uh, but we're getting through it. We are here. We do have the Death Prophet ban. That's a strong mid hero, uh, very strong pusher as well. So a lot of a lot of heroes being banned that are known for making strong pushes. Um, so we are going to see the first pick, first two picks coming out for this dire team, CNM Gaming. Ten seconds remaining. And we are almost into their reserve time already on these picks. So we'll see what they're going to do. This is really going to set up the stage. Nyx Assassin, we have an Invoker on the Radiant, so we'll probably see Nyx Assassin going in the offlane. Invoker, more than likely going to be going in middle. Um, he is a very dominant middle. He's great at team fighting. It, it was surprising to see that he wasn't actually one of the first bans. He is such a strong middle. Um, if he is not banned, he is always played. That is just kind of how it works. So we'll see as we do have the Nyx Assassin pick for CNM. They're probably gonna be going ahead and trying to shut him down as Nyx Ten is an intelligence remaining. counter hero. So we'll see what their second pick is coming up in just Five a few seconds. seconds remaining. Almost hitting that reserve time once again. Thank you. And we do have Doom. Doom's gonna come out and shut people down with that silence. That's gonna be phenomenal. Also has a great amount of farm. Probably gonna see him as the hard carry. Um, and then Murder Bros Inc. answering back with a Lycan pick. Uh, they're probably going to use that as the, in a tri-lane uh, bottom, using the wolves maybe to go ahead and use the, do the creep pulls, um, help Lycan get some extra last hits. Ban coming out, Troll Bat Rider. So that's going to be that's a good pick for Murder Bros Inc. to ban. It's going to Bat Rider would have gone gone ahead and pretty much shut down their carry and take him out of the fight for at least a few seconds using his ultimate there. Um, so now we are on the third ban for the Dire team. It's just by looking, we have a pretty balanced team so far. Can't really tell what the motives for each team are going to be as far as they're, are they going to be team fighting, are they going to be pushing. We will see as the rest of the picks drop, but right now we already can see through the bans that we do not want to see Neither team wants to see their, their team getting split-pushed by either Death Prophet, Furion, um, 
So, oh, Shadow Shaman Band going down. It, your favorite and most useful support has officially been banned, everybody. No hexes and no chains going down this match. So that also another push hero, those wards, folks. They go ahead and they're pretty, pretty dramatic. You drop those on the tower, you almost guarantee that you take out the tower. We see the Naga Siren getting banned. Her AOE is ultimate is just shut it down. She could, if you do it right, you can combo a BKB with her ultimate. If you go ahead and pop um, the BKB before she ults, you can pretty much sleep everybody on the enemy team and be immune to it and clean them up. So it'll be pretty good. Um, it'll be good to see that probably later today. As we know, there are some 100 odd heroes here in Dota, and we can't ban all of them. We can only ban 10 at a time. So we do have uh, a, the fourth ban coming out for the Dire team, CNM. We will see what they're doing. We've pretty much already gotten rid of all the pushers. There are there. There aren't many heroes left in the pool that are going to be able to split push um, as effectively as the, the heroes that have already been banned. So we are waiting to see who this last ban is. We are into the reserve time for CNM. Probably a lot of debates going on. And it looks like Enchantress is going to get dropped from the hero pool right now because, she, well, let me, let's just be frank. She's a great support. She has a great heal. Uh, very strong in the jungle. So we'll, looks like... I, I really can't, I can't wait to see what the rest of these picks are because right now it's pretty standard. We have, you know, offlane support, carry, mid, and carry. So how the rest of the combos are going to be put together for these teams is still yet to be revealed, but we're going to see it here probably within the next pick or two. Um, we have an Earth Shaker, so we might see some Wombo Combo here coming out uh, for CNM. Maybe going to go ahead and try to make that happen. Earthshaker going to be huge for the team fight initiations using this Blink Dacker, going ahead, ulting in. Uh, Ancient Apparition going to be answered back with uh, by Murder Bros Inc., which means they're probably going to go for kills. I mean, they have Ancient Apparition's ultimate ability, which is a cross-map global nuke. He pretty much targets the area of the map, sends a missile that travels over time and explodes, doing a slow and some massive damage. So. We're going to probably see some good Ancient Apparition cleanup kills uh, throughout the game. Queen of Pain, probably going to be the mid hero for CNM. Uh, or it could be also known as a strong offlaner, but more than likely we will see her mid with Nyx in the offlane. Earthshaker, Doom, and probably one more support going bottom uh, in that tri lane for Dire. For the Radiant, we are waiting on their fourth pick to see what's going on. I know Ancient Apparition and Lycan are already going to be in that tri lane on bot. Uh, Invoker is going to be sitting middle. And if they do have a Vengeful Spirit that coming out. That might go in the offlane, but it also could be great as a support. That Swap and Magic Missile are absolutely phenomenal. We will see how they decide to use and place their Vengeful Spirit on the map when we actually get to game. Very versatile hero, able to go quite a few different spots. Ten seconds so, remaining. We are on the final bands, and Timbersaw getting banned. Very strong offlaner. Um, team seeing band. CNM probably saw that Murder Bros doesn't have a, a dedicated offlaner yet, so they decided to take the one who has probably the best escape ability uh, out of the game. No problems. I mean, his grapple hook uh, is especially good for being able to escape when you're getting ganked in a tri lane. I mean, you just you know throw the hook, get into a tree. You're good game. See you later. I'm not worried about you. So we have Keeper of the Light, who is the one of the final pushers remaining in the champion pool, or hero pool, depending on what you're a fan of. League of Legends, Dota, but today it's Dota, so we got heroes. <laughs> so the last picks are coming out, and then we're going to finally get into the game with the creep spawning, and it is going to be a bloodbath, folks! It is going to be intense. So here we, we are in this reserve time for this final pick. We are yet to see the last support for CNM. Uh, they can go with a Dazzle. That would be absolutely phenomenal. Um, especially since, you know, the only tanky, they, they, they do have two tanky heroes. Uh, Doom can get pretty tanky. Earthshaker can get pretty tanky. But if you want to keep your hard carry up, I would go, uh, personally, I'd go with Dazzle. But it, they, they are sure to pick a support. Uh, I'm not sure who they got. They have 20 seconds left on their pick. They're cutting it kind of close, but th th this is for, there is $1,000 on the line today. So we got to make sure that we have our team pick and maximizing its efficiency. So 
And it looks like a Weaver! Weaver in the off lane. That's going to be quite annoying for this Radiant team to deal with. Uh, we're probably going to see some wards, Sentry wards coming out, and Gem really early. And the final pick is going to be Lone Druid. So we do have Lone Druid probably going to go in the off lane since he does have the bear. So let's just see who's going to be playing who right now. We do have Shredder who playing the Lycan. We have Skull, Ancient Apparition. Give me one second, folks. I do need to... There we go. We got Light on Invoker, Wonton uh, for Vengeful Spirit. Q for Lone Druid. Skull going to go ahead and use the Ancient Apparition. And Lycan going ahead uh, by Shredder. So for CNM, we have Presley playing the offlane, Nyx Assassin. We have uh, Field playing Weaver. Fat from, or from Fat to Six Pack is playing Doom. We have uh, Lich, <laughs> Lichy on... Earthshaker and Hello is Queen of Pain. So let's see what's going to happen uh, as we do get this game. Pretty standard buys. Uh, only looks like we are splitting the wards on MIB. We are going to have Ancient Apparition picking up the Sentry wards. Vengeful Spirit going to go ahead and pick up those Observer wards. Only Observer wards being picked up by Litzy Earthshaker for CNM. Um, we will hopefully see that the the excuse me the supports picking up wards throughout the game. Um, so we are going to see a tri-lane bot. We're going to have Doom, Earthshaker, and Nyx Assassin. I thought Nyx might have been the offlaner, but after the Weaver pick, uh, it's obvious Weaver's got the better escapes. So we'll see what happens. We do have Lone Druid going to be going offlane top for the Radiant, Invoker mid as usual, and we have Lycan, Ancient Apparition, and Vengeful Spirit going bot for this Radiant team. And it looks like the minions, or creeps as we like to call them here in Dota, are finally about to spawn in two seconds. Here we go. So first creeps coming out. Rune is, in fact, up. Nobody actually has a ward down on it yet, but maybe waiting. Just because we want to make sure, the players want to make sure that their ward does not get wasted. A little aggression there coming up early for this Dire team. They're seeing, seeing Angel Apparition in the jungle, uh, just kind of saying hello, seeing what's up. We do now have the, fight, the creeps meeting in middle, so let's take a look and we'll see what we have. Who's going to get the farm? Who's going to have the last hits? Who's going to have the none eyes? If an invoker right now gets the first last hit of the game, and Doom going to go ahead and pick up some farm as well. So Doom going to be getting all the farm from his team, and it looks like they're Radiant team going in on Doom, getting the stun off, and oh, nice impale there from the Nyx Assassin, going to shut that gank down really fast, uh, not going to allow any damage to be t uh, given to either of his teammates Denied. from the Radiant team. So early on, nice aggressive try lane coming out from Radiant, a defensive try lane coming from Dire. We will see uh, a big fight going in here up on top. I actually expect Lone Druid to force Weaver out of the lane just because he does have the access to the bear for last hits. He is ranged as well. So let's keep a look eye on at this bot lane as there is more action here. We do have six players total out of ten in this game in this bottom lane. Uh, pretty passive so far. Weaver actually getting some good farm uh, compared to this Lone Druid. Doing nice with the last assist. Lycan is beating out Doom pretty hardcore right now in this farm. That's going to be huge. If Doom cannot pick his farm back up, he is going to have some problems late game. And we have Earthshaker trying to Fisher uh, Ancient Apparition out of the scene right now. Maybe he was going to go in for a gank, but decided not to. Um, we do have the creeps being ready to be pulled by this Vengeful Spear, but it looks like she's actually going to pass on this wave and maybe just stack him instead. Doom going in on Ancient Apparition. We have a Fisher going down, and it looks like, oh, missed the Impale, Nyx Assassin. And now we have Doom forced to fall back as he gets stunned by that Vengeful Spear. And it looks like Lycan going to go ahead and go after the chase and gets mini stun there by the Nyx Assassin, Spike Carapace. We will see now if... Both, play, both teams decide to go passive, or if they're going to keep this aggressive play up. I mean, they are getting pretty pokey there. They want to get, they want to get the damage and harassing to prevent the farm, but they also don't want to give up the first blood. As we know in Dota, first blood is worth a lot of money, folks. So it's, whoever gets that really gets a great advantage for their team. Um, Lycan is killing it right now with 11 CS, one deny. Uh, this he has currently got twice the amount of money of this. Doom coming in. So we'll see how that works. I mean, Doom does have the Devour, so he should be eating these jungle creeps, creeps to go ahead and get the net, get the skills, and get the free gold that that entails. So let's take a look at it up the top again. We do have Weaver getting pushed in. Uh, as you can see, creeps are back at the tower. In middle, uh, pretty even matchup as we do have the Invoker versus Queen of Pain. And Light 
is actually out um, actually both light and hello are pretty well farmed to get uh respectively so not really a player getting an advantage in middle yet we, we should see queen of pain starting to get a, some harass going on and teleporting in doom just trying to keep this lichen out from getting last hits but they're not doing such a good job as it looks like oh double stun landed on ancient apparition and Earthshaker going in, but forced to fall back and stunned for him. And we might have first blood! We do! Shredder taking him down! And Earthshaker goes down to the like and like might pick up a double kill here. Can he get in on Doom? That is the question. Nyx now trying to just get it, make it able for his team to fall back. So first blood going to Murder Bros Inc. Murder in the competition, just as their name says. Good job there. We will see how the Dire team is going to go ahead and handle this. Looks like they're going aggro on Wonton. Going to try to get a kill here. Maybe going to secure it. And it looks like, no, Nyx goes down. Unfortunate turn of events. A creep blocking his escape. And we might even see another kill here from Lycan. He is chasing down Doom. Is Earthshaker going to be able to turn around and get the stun? No. But do, do, it, it, Lycan is able to back off and at least force his opponents out of the lane. So for those of you who are League of Legends fans, this is how you zone people in Dota. This is how it's done. You don't, we have creep denies and we have zoning. So get out your pencil and paper, pen and paper, folks. Murder Bros ain't here to teach you how to zone. And Lone Druid just picked up a kill on Weaver up at top. So very early strong start for the Murder Bros right now. Um, just gonna go ahead and look. They are 1,000 gold ahead of the pack right now and over 1,000 experience already. So, I mean, I've seen comebacks bigger than, happen from spreads bigger than this already. So it's gonna be up to CNM to go ahead and play a little bit smarter. We got an initiation here and it looks like Invoker might actually pick up the kill on Queen of Pain. Queen of Pain forced the back. Um, not really picking up the damage she needed. She looks like we have a Ward going down in the middle, probably getting a, uh, a rune spot uh, for this Queen of Pain. She does not have her bottle filled. Neither player actually going after the rune. She does have a bottle. Weaver does pick up a kill. Diving really hard there. So finally on the scoreboard, we have CNM with one kill. It's about time. Structures are fortified. So here we go. We do have this tri lane is down by uh, Dyer's getting pushed in pretty hard. Their towers are already at half health, while the Radiant team does are, have a full health tower. Doing a great job. Lycan is shutting down this Doom. He has a, it looks like already 16 more creep kills. So he's getting the free farm pretty much. And Earthshaker going ahead, throwing the Fisher down. Looks like they're gonna get pretty aggressive here, but it's not gonna pay off, it doesn't look like, as Doom is forced to fall back. Stun's coming out, and it looks like they are just trying to rotate out, but all of a sudden, down goes Nyx Assassin. You saw the Sun Strike coming in from Invoker, not gonna go ahead and land it. So we do have another kill picked up for this Murder Bros Inc. So we, sh honestly, I, what, what is happening down here is just a little bit too much aggression, maybe some, some ti mistiming on the skills of CNM. Maybe if they played a little bit more passive, they might not, lose their, not be losing the lane as hard. Uh, we should see them making some adjustments here very shortly. And it looks like the first tower's already gone 625 in. So that's a big gold spike right there for this Radiant team. We have the Radiant team now up 2,500. Um, it's quite an intense moment as the first tower goes down. I mean, that pretty much shuts the tri lane down. It's going to force CNM to be more going back to a classical setup. Probably going to help Weaver up top. Weaver actually going, it looks like he wants to go in on Lone Druid, but isn't going to go in yet. Um, he doesn't have the items nor the farm to, to take this Lone Druid at top yet, especially since that he does have the bear. But we do have an Invis Rune coming out. Um, for Vengeful Spirit, probably gonna try to get a gank here in mid. Level three doesn't quite have the swap yet, but it doesn't. He, he, she does have that great stun. Um, we will probably see her make a move here. Looks like she's being patient, waiting for this Invoker to push, but not getting the creep wave that she desired. Doom decides I need to go to the jungle. I can't afford right now to be in that lane. I'm not getting the farm I need. I'm getting far too behind. So uh, we, Vengeful Spirit, meh, falling back. No problem. Not gonna risk getting killed. Not gonna. It, it, honestly, it looks like Murder Bros understand that towers are more important. But oh, Queen of Pain going in uh, on an Invoker. Sunstrike coming down, and it might. Oh, it lands on Earthshaker's face there. And it looks like a double kill might come out if they can only get the last few hits here on this Queen of Pain. And it looks like she 
is trying to run back through the secret shop. Probably going to get away here. Nick's coming to back her up. And then Murder Bros deciding, well, it's not time to chase. We're not strong enough yet. No big deal. And if Weaver still trying to fight off this Lone Druid top, um, not really doing too great at it, but I mean, Lone Druid does have double, it's like facing two heroes in one lane, so you see him pushing down the tower uh, with his bear as he stays back, using the bear as a tank. Great job there, great use of that bear from Lone Druid. So, just to give, just to see what's going on here, we do have Lycan now picking up some farm in the jungle. Um, he doesn't want to be pushing the lane past the river, it sets, it, that really endangers him for ganks, so we'll see what happens here. Um, as the game does progress. He is going to go back into the bot lane while it is still not being pushed and at least get the free farm, as you see, using the wolves there uh, before he even gets there. And they do have the critical hits. Uh, three members of CNM now rocking top. Uh, Earthshaker has that double damage rune active. Looks like they might be trying to make a gank here on Invoker mid. We'll see what happens. Is is CNM going to be able to get the Fisher off and be able to get this gank set up? Or is Invoker going to be able to go and slip away? It looks like Queen of Pain initiating maybe too soon. Um, probably should have waited and had Earthshaker come down. And Earthshaker opting out to go top to back up the Weaver. We do have two members uh, of MBI now pushing on this top tower. Probably going to try to take it down. We have Vengeful Spirit and we have Lone Druid up there with the bear. So, looks like... Earthshaker and Weaver are going to do their best to defend it here. Um, probably just going to be able to kill the creeps and stop the push. Uh, Lycan just took out another tower for this for uh, B or MBI, excuse me, as t uh, the bottom T2 tower for Dyer's down. I mean, this is not looking good for CMN right now. They are currently 5,000 gold behind and. Already, Lycan is trying to push this T3. Nyx missing his stun, and it looks like Lycan might get this tower free. Uh, Queen of Pain is in middle, and Earthshaker and Weaver are still on top. So the split push coming out, very strong from Lycan, doing a great job. I mean, he got a bunch of early farm. Let's take a look at what items we have out on the field already. We do have a Perseverance going on, Weaver, um, using it for that regen, and probably going to be building that Lincoln Sphere. Um, just looking at, we already have a Vladimir's offering, and it looks like a Staff of Wizardry for that mana pool. Uh, we'll see what he goes ahead and builds for that. He might even be building a Force Staff. Uh, looks like he will be opting out for Power Treads over Phase Boots. He doesn't have any boots yet, so we'll see what he decides. Um, some boot upgrades coming out from Invoker and Vengeful Spirit. Uh, pretty much everybody has boots. We did just get Queen of Pain. As you see, she did just get her Power Treads. So. We do have strong pushes coming out in every lane for MBI. Uh, we, we really need to see some team, either A, we need to see some team fighting out of CNM to stop these tower pushes, or B, we need to see seeing some counter pushing. Um, and it's doing, oh, another tower goes down. So right now we have three towers down for the Dire team already. CNM losing towers left and right. Um, we do have Doom in the jungle trying to pick up and make up for that farm. Uh, let's just take a look at what the net gold is and whatever level everyone here is. So right now, it looks like the Dire team is actually a little bit behind in levels overall. Um, only one of their supports actually hitting six. Uh, Nyx Assassin able to use his ulti to scout now, at least, uh, and maybe set up some team fights, maybe even get a pickoff initiation on one of the supports. And Invoker takes another tower down mid. This gold spread is just getting wider and wider. MBI are showing why they were the champions last time here at Clutch. And it looks like Light might go down here as we do finally have Doom picking up a kill. And both of his teammates able to at least escape. And it looks like Vengeful Spirit gonna go down. They, the chase is on. If if only they can get a stun or a slow off on her. And it looks like, oh, Doom able to get the kill. Nyx almost going down. So finally being able to pick up uh, a, a team fight that went their way. Two kills, get, getting the kill on their mid and on the support. So good job there by CNM, able to capitalize, catching Invoker out of position. I bet you Invoker thinks twice about pushing mid next time, folks. So we do have this double damage rune sitting in river. Both teams 
or excuse me, only the Radiant team currently can see it. MBI, um, I'm surprised that the Lycan hasn't grabbed it to try to finish pushing this tower. And it looks like Weaver going to go ahead and maybe harass in on Lycan. I don't know if he's actually going to go ahead and try to get the kill. And it looks like he does go. And he is going to go ahead and fall back. Those wolves going in on hard on him. His HP is dropping. Looks like he is going to fall back uh, after realizing there's a lot more damage there. Rewinds. Queen of Pain going ahead, flashing in, trying to get the kill. Maybe going to shut it down. Invoker throwing the Sun Strike. Oh, and a double kill coming out from Lycan. Excellent Invoker strike by his teammates to secure that kill, but looks like Queen of Pain did get the kill on Lycan, getting the shutdown gold there. Uh, that Her damage over time spell taking him out. So at least slowing the roll of the Lycan here. Uh, I mean, Lycan is doing a great job. He's getting great farm. His tower pushing is great. As you can see, he has almost a 2K lead, uh, th almost three, two and a half K lead over the, their, the enemy Doom. And it looks like another tower goes down. Middle, so almost all three T2 towers are taken down by MI MBI. They are waiting to take this top tower down. We do have Lone Druid here uh, making the push. And the Ancient Apparition all coming in, trying to get these guys off the tower. Looks like the Magic Missile goes in. Earth Taker stun, going ahead and uses his ult. And look, Sunstrike going down. Nyx trying to get in, and the first kill, Lone Druid gets taken out by Queen of Pain, and it looks like Ancient Apparition was just killed as well. Weaver taking out Vendral Spirit, a push that maybe MBI should not have engaged in. We do have the Doom on Invoker, so a big, huge team fight turnaround here for CNM, showing that, you know what, you want to play really aggressive, we're going to take you out as you come to our tower. So good job there, nice capitalization on MBI's aggression. It nice job. Let's see if they itself. can actually now start to push out the lanes and at least take out, get some pushes down these towers. We do have Lycan knocking on the, bot, the bottom door for these guys, for MBI. He's knocking on CNM's door. He wants that tower. He wants to kill them on this barracks, or he wants to rax them very quickly. He wants to make this a GG easy. So we'll see what happens. Uh, he may get over. They, what we're starting to see is MBI getting aggressive because they think that they can, they have the farm, but it looks like, whoa, looks like we have Lycan getting a little aggressive. He wants to make best friends with Roche and take his Aegeus of the Immortal. We'll see what happens. Uh, is CNM going to be able to go ahead and get in on this Roche before Lycan takes it down, maybe steal it? And no, it looks like, nope. Shredder is going to go ahead and pick up the agency of the mortal. So this could be the push that MBI decides, you know what? We, you did just take down our carry, and you did just kill us. But guess what? We just got the Aegis, and we're going to push you. And uh, there's something that we got to deal with. So, and it looks like we do have another kill coming out. Uh, Lycan and Ancient Apparitions going ahead, doubling up on the Earthshaker. Um, we do have Doom forced to fall back. Gonna get hit with that Sun Strike, and now the chase is on. Uh, Invoker really wants to go in, but not. We were gonna get out of there before Invoker can get anything. Doom on Invoker. Invoker's kind of screwed right now, and he goes. Oh, he's finally. It looks like Nyx finally actually picked up the kill there, and Ancient Apparition getting the kill on Doom, and Queen of Pain getting Ancient Apparition. So the carry is down for the the Dire team right now. Lycan is still up. He has that Aegis still. And it looks like we actually have Weaver trying to chase down this uh, Vengeful Spirit. That could be actually... It might work out for him as he is getting the damage he needs. Magic Missile coming out and looks like Vengeful is going to be able to get away. Oh, Weaver going diving hard. Is he going to pick up the kill or is... Yes, he does get the kill. And he does rewind all the way back to the middle of mid. Going to run into a Lycan now though. Is the Lycan going to take him down? It looks like Lycan getting a slight bit of damage there on him, but is it enough? Doesn't look like it as Weaver does escape. So CNM now picking up the kills. Oh, and the ultimate ability for Ancient Apparition coming out and taking out the Weaver. So Weaver unable to keep the kill gold that he just got here from Vengeful Spirit. Uh, that is unfortunate for him as he is a very strong offlaner. Once he has his Lincolns, it's pretty much he becomes a hard carry all on his own. So good job there by getting that gold taken away from him uh, sooner than later before we got a chance to actually buy with it. So we'll see. Uh, we do have MBI now just playing very, very sp uh, spread out. They're just pushing lanes, trying to make sure that nothing gets too close to their T1. It looks like a uh, Necronomicon coming out for this uh, Lycanthrope because he probably wants to get the Nyx ult and he wants to stop Weaver. So that Necronomicon doing a great job. And it looks like we are going to have a an engage here as Ancient Apparition dropping the ult. 
Not gonna get it. Missing the Sun Strike Invoker, Lycan forced to fall back. Really just looks like Lycan, oh, actually teleports out. Invoker picks up a kill there on Earthshaker. And the swap there on Nyx Assassin. It may, it may go uh, south here as we do have Vengeful Spirit going down. Lone Druid also going down. So Nyx and Weaver picking up a kill. Ancient Apparition may very well go down. Invoker trying to throw a meatball down on the battlefield. Gets the aggression, but honestly, not the best play. Once again, CNM showing that the overaggression of MBI is going to be met by some outskilling and some nice outplaying there. The tower has not gone down yet, Top, and that's twice they have tried to push it. Lycan, honestly, I think should have been there with his team. Um, he, he was, but the, I, the ages got pretty much wasted. They didn't get a tower out of it. So good job from CNM actually stopping this this push uh, with that Aegis. So they are still in it. We will see what happens. Uh, they are still 7,500 gold behind, but as you can see on, the, on our chart here, we are seeing that start to dwindle. And the actual experience earned is starting to be in favor here of CNM. So catching up in levels, we'll see if that's gonna help them uh, have an advantage even though they are down in gold. So remember, this is a best of three. So no matter what happens this game, both teams are still in this. Uh, in this to win it. I want to thank you guys for tuning in. Um, make sure you tell your friends we are live if you are just joining us here on Deathmatch Radio. Once again, we are at the Clutch $1,000 Dota 2 Land Double Elimination Tournament. My name is Bio on Video, bringing you coverage from the on site. So if you haven't heard about us before, you've got to actually check us out. Um, if you have any questions, you can ask Draco in our chat about what's going on here today. We do have three members uh, of MBI at top. Probably gonna try to make another push on this top. In middle, we do have Weaver and Wonton. Still got to duking it out. Um, looks like we do have Lycan. Maybe gonna get Sandwich. Nick's doing a good job with his Vendetta, trying to scout it out. Uh, no Sentry Wards really being placed to counter these Invis heroes yet. Uh, I'm really surprised to see that maybe Maybe MBI just doesn't think they need to, that they have enough of an advantage just in their team fights. I mean, we need to see some more invoker combos coming out from MBI. Uh, we, we do see the meatball drop, uh, but we haven't seen any multi-spell combos coming out really hardcore uh, yet. We've seen some impressive sun strikes um, so far. And what do we have going on here in middle as we do have the MBI now? Maybe make it a gather, maybe gonna make a push. You see Vengeful Spear using the armor debuff. Doom going ahead and popping his AoE. We'll see as we do have only one T2 left for this dire team. Uh, both teams actually playing very, very, very passive right now. Weaver just stood inside that uh, Ancient Apparition ult. Uh, I'm not sure what he was thinking there. Maybe he thought he was out of the actual AoE. We'll see. It looks like they are uh, that CNM. Ooh, Lycan actually making a push. Oh, taking down the top, bottom tower before uh, the fortification goes up, but he might get caught out. He does pop his ultimate, so he is doomed. Is he going to be able to escape? No, oh, Queen of Pain shutting him down. Too much CC for him to actually get away. Good job taking down the tower, though. That's, uh, that's very important. Actually is worth the death there, if you ask me. Just because the, his, his whole team just got gold, and only one player on CNM got the gold and the assist gold. So, uh, looks like we are going to have a, another push coming top. Pretty much what MBI just did with Lycan right there was stop the, pu the push on top by creating a distraction on the push bot. So, taking out that tower may actually take them out two towers here. Weaver, the only one to be able to defend uh, Mr. I feel here, tr trying to hold it down. We do have Doom coming in through the jungle and Nyx coming in from behind. So we'll see what's gonna happen. Let's take a look at the net worth here again. Once again, Lycan is destroying Doom in Sars Farm, 2,000 ahead. Uh, let's take a look at what items we do have. We have the Necronomicon, the Vlads on Lycan. We have an Urn of Shadows on Ancient Apparition. Uh, looks like Doom does have his drums and a mechanism. Um, Orchid coming out on Queen of Pain. Probably going to use it on the Invoker um, unless the Doom goes ahead and does it. We were going to rewind. Maybe almost getting caught out of position here. So now Doom maybe going to run up and back this up. They don't want this top tower to drop. That's just going to be another thousand net gold in favor of the Radiant team, which they can currently not afford to give up. should really do something about that middle tower. So 
Dyer's bottom we do have... Attack. They fight with honor. We are just waiting to see what's going on. Lycan keeping the pressure down there at bottom. This way his team can keep the pressure there at top. He has the mobility to keep going in and out so, and draw that push. So hopefully we see something... Uh, hopefully we see a push here soon. It looks like the top tower for Dyer does go down. So we are seeing all the T2 towers drop and a team fight coming in. And it looks like Doom dropping the Doom there on... The Lycan, Lycan able to get away. Nice vengeful spirit swap. Lone Druid going ahead and taking down the Nyx. Uh, we did have Weaver get taken down by Invoker. And it looks like Q is going to go ahead and take down Ancient Apparition. So we have vengeful spirit, Lone Druid, and Ancient Apparition getting taken out. A good trade for CNM. Uh, trading three for two right now. Um, they, didn't, they didn't get the carry. And the carries didn't get the kills. So, I mean, Doom did pick up a kill, putting him in a slightly better position. But that it's became it's starting to become a drawn out game unless CNM can start making some pushes on these towers. Uh, they're in they're fighting a losing battle right now. The Lycan, the push from Lycan is so strong on the split push that they're they really do have to make it so that their team falls back to to, to handle that because Lycan is just destroying towers left and right. So we have Doom maybe going to try to make a creep wave push here at the top lane. Um, It'll be interesting to see how CNM actually plan on taking a, a tower objective down. Um, right now, they've been focused on the, the team fights, but as we know, folks, it's not kills that win you games of Dota, it's objectives. So, hopefully, we'll get some more objectives uh, t taken down here by CNM. Uh, Lycan coming in strong through the jungle, coming, being backed up by Invoker. They do see this Queen of Pain, and Queen of Pain going ahead and using her, her personal blink there to get back onto her team's, excuse me, bakes. <clears throat> so, um, right now, I gotta say, we do have a handful of spectators here uh, at the land. Just so you guys know, that question was asked in Twitch. Ancient Apparition ult going down. It looks like, boom, not gonna hit anyone. Probably just to make sure that there's no one there. We do have the ward in the jungle there. It's a great ward set up. We do have the sentry on it to make sure it's counter warded as well. So looking at what the Radiant's doing now, they're kind of just jungle farming. We got Lone Druid and Lycan just getting fed. We, we have actually seen a complete stop in pushing. Um, I think BM or MIB or MBI, wow. See how they get you trained with that Men in Black stuff? Anyway, so we do have MBI Taking it rather slow, they went ahead, they, they went on a steamroll for towers, and all of a sudden, it has come to a dead stop. We might see Weaver being able to get a, a tower push. He has the creeps. Is he going to be able to actually take the tower down here? Half health. Um, the Ancient Apparition ult coming in. He is going to weave out of there, hitting the bear on the way out. Uh, still slowed, so we'll see. Very, both teams playing very cautiously now. Very, very, very slow change of pace. We, early game, we did see the early aggression in the bot, uh, bot lane from both teams. Uh, CNM getting the worst end of the stick there early on, but then showing how they can actually work in team fights at top to pull this game back into their advantage. Um, we do have the MBI still about 7,500 gold plus ahead. We do have both teams have wards on this bottom ruin now. Uh, Lycan is probably actually spotted there in the jungle. Gonna go ahead and fall out. So, it looks like he is gonna be working on picking up a BKB next, stopping the, that Doom and stopping any stuns and CC that could be put onto him. Uh, we do see the Ogre Axe in his inventory. Just looking and seeing where how far Doom is. Looks like he is gonna be working on an Assault Curious, as he do has, does have the play mail. He might be going into a Sheena's Guard instead. We'll see as the game progresses. Ancient Apparition doing a good job harassing with these ultimates, so. Um, Roshan is back up, everybody. He is back in the building. We'll see if uh, Radiant or Dyer are able to get that uh, GS of the Immortal and capitalize on it. Big push maybe coming out on top. Oh, no, this looks like, hello, Queen of Pain and Feel opting out to TP back. Oh, and Feel getting stopped there by the Invoker, and Invoker unable to follow up and pick up the kill, but, so. Uh, Invoker right now is sporting those Boots of Travel and Next Comic Con. Uh, so he is able to get be very mobile around the map. As you see, he's able to teleport. He's still carrying a Town Scroll, scroll Portal. Uh, not sure what he plans on doing with that. 
But oh, Doom picking up the kill on Lycan. But Invoker landing that excellent Sun Strike on the Nyx Assassin, picking up a kill. So it looks like now we have both teams playing very passive, trying to pick up, uh, trying to just pick up people out of position, not making any committed pushes. We do have Lone Druid once again and Lycan just doing a good job farming. So. Radiant structures the, uh, this just in, I believe Revolutionary, Ga Revolutionary Gaming just won against Throws for Days. I don't know if that's game one or all the games yet. Uh, that's still coming in. So just kind of thought I'd keep you guys up to date. So looks like we are having four members gather here for this Radiant team. MBI maybe going to decide to finally make this push or at least maybe make the push while Lycan goes ahead and solos Roshan again. We'll see um, what's going to happen. Queen of Pain just deciding to spam her skill. And there's the BKB for Lycan. BKB on Lycan. This is going to be absolute nightmare for CNM unless they can take him down uh, before his BKB, you know, is even really put to good use. Roche is going to be getting hit. And it looks like both teams are actually aware. Queen of Pain going in. Going to get caught. Oh, Ancient Apparitional going to barely miss. And it looks like Queen of Pain is going to be able to get out, but the Roche is still actually being hit. HP not being reset. Earthshaker getting trapped by Lycan. Lycan picking up a kill. Maybe going to pick up a double kill. Nyx Assassin going ahead. Spike Carapace. Swap coming out. And Nyx goes down. Double kill for Lycan. Nice job there, Shredder. And maybe now it looks like he's going to go ahead and finish this Roche shot. Picking up the Agency of the Mortal. So nice job here by this MBI going ahead and making that push. Gonna go ahead and probably take down this mid tower. It is a two ver or a five versus three situation right now. Radiant's top tower. We do have three members. Excuse me, I'll see them going ahead to trying to find trying to defend this middle lane. Uh, they are able to take the creeps down, but the tower is dangerously low. These guys are able to fortify their tower. So we'll see if they're gonna actually make that. You see the uh, the mana boots coming out from Wonton doing a good job. Keeping his team completely full of mana. Not giving them an issue in these team fights. Um, so now we do have um, a big fight. Maybe gonna pan out here. We'll see if we'll see if MBI is gonna go ahead and try to push up to these T3s. As we, you guys do know, T3s are so much different than the actual lane towers because you have that vision advantage of being up there. Um, we will, we might actually see some wards put in some odd places. But it looks like we do have MBI committing to this mid push. We'll see how it's going to turn out for them as we do have the, the CC in favor of CNM in a big team fight. Open it up. And what's going to go down as we do have Nyx getting taken, or Weaver getting taken down. Got a little cocky there. Uh, there's Necronomicon stopping him from being in. Invisible and the first Raxes are going down. Two mid Raxes down. Doom going in. Meatball flying down. And looks like Lone Druid picking up a double kill. Nick Assassin and Doom going down. Doom just bought back into the game because he knows that MBI is probably going to push and try to go for the win right here. This is the push that could end this first game. And the dire structures are fortified. Tower at half health. And it looks like Sunstrike going in and does get a kill on Earthshaker. Earthshaker taking out Lone Druid in the process. But that still leaves it a four verse. Now, as Ancient Apparition just kills Doom, Doom now on a 72 second cooldown of that buyback. And it looks like this middle or this top tower gonna get taken down. All three racks down. So, this middle tower, Lycan trying to get it taken down without getting killed. So, looks like they do take it down. Queen of Pain getting stunned there. And now gonna be. Probably taken down by Lycan. Oh, nice blink away. And now Nyx coming in, getting the stun on Ancient Apparition. Now we have Vengeful Spirit trying to fall back. Not going to be able to do it. Magic Missiles on Queen of Pain. Maybe going to get the kill. Does get the kill. Nyx Assassin going ahead and taking out, uh, taking out the Vengeful Spirit after getting the cleanup kill. Lycan, look at him. He is just saying, I want your racks. I don't care. Give me your racks. And he is going to go down, it has no finally. So, I mean, that really, really doesn't leave this CNM team in a good position since it looks like both of their middle towers aren't going to be going down, leaving their ancient open for attack. I got to say, MBI has played 
Almost a flawless game as far as objectives are concerned. They, these guys have not lost a single tower and have downed every tower uh, almost already. 32 minutes in, we are about to see these mid, double mid towers get taken down. They're probably gonna go ahead, buy up, and f make one final push. Looking at the final items that we do have coming out, we do have the Ultimate Orb, uh, Necronomicon, and the Boots Travel on. On the Invoker, Wanton, Vengeful Spirit, has a mechanism that's huge in team fights. Building a Yule Scepter, since they do lack a, a very hard stun, that's gonna enable them to go ahead and have a little bit more crowd control ability. Um, uh, we got the BKB, the Vlads, and another Necro, Earnest Shadows on Ancient Apparition. Uh, doing a great job there. Earthshaker using his, he has a Force Staff now, probably gonna use that to help save teammates more than use it for initiations. Uh, BKB on Weaver as well. Mechanism on Doom. I'm surprised they only have one mechanism. Looks like Queen of Pain is working on building a BKB as well. So if these guys can last, uh, they really do have some good late game heroes. Uh, if they can get a, if CNM can get a dag on there on their Nyx or get, you know, they need Doom to go ahead and just get really fat. To be completely honest, we just need this guy to get really fat, really tanky. Dyer's top barracks are under attack. And it looks like Fishering on the Necronomica characters, trying to keep this top reaction going down, but not going to be able to do it. And it looks like we do have five men coming from MBI. And we have five members pushing now. This could be the GG that we were waiting for. Members of CNM going to fall back now. Are they going to be able to defend? No, tower going down. One tower remains. Four between MBI and CNM, one tower, and it looks like, oh, CNM might actually try to defend it here. It's not going to help out. Tower is down. The Ancient is open for business, and it looks like it's going down pretty hard, but we have it. Earthshaker trying to get the CC in there to stop these guys from taking it down, but it looked too much like it. Not going to take Doom down, or excuse me, Invoker actually getting killed. Vengeful Spirit. Uh, gonna go ahead and buy back into the game. I, these guys are getting greedy for kills. They could be just killing the Ancient, but instead they are, are working on just cleaning up people. And Nyx gets two kills. Uh, so, but the, I think the Winions, or the Creeps, are actually gonna take out this uh, Ancient here. Lycan going ahead, trying to trying to just get keep out of range, popping his BKB. The damage is coming out. Is he gonna be able to get it in time before he gets taken down? And it looks like it's good game. MBI takes game one. So congratulations to MBI. Taking game one, excellent job there. They pushed the towers in the side lanes. Lycan did a great job, Shredder there. Uh, really going ahead and winning with this split push. So I would really want to say congratulations to MBI for the first game. Hopefully we have an exciting second game as well.